Good morning, church family. As always, it's great to be with you. Uh, and as I mentioned last time we did a Devo, uh, I'm gonna be doing a mini series on things that make a strong and healthy church. Last time we looked at the importance of discipleship. Um, it's a huge part of how the church functions. And this morning our topic is gonna be on service. So what do I mean by service? Well, I'm talking about, for one, uh, a willingness to serve the Lord. For example, could you imagine a church with leaders who weren't willing to serve God's flock? Could you imagine a, a pastor who wasn't willing to study? Um, elders who weren't willing to pray and be overseers? A worship team that wasn't willing to practice? Or ushers who weren't willing to greet and help people get seated? What kind of church would that be? Well, it would be a failing church, that's for sure. And so you see, um, when we look at it like that, we see how important it is for all of us uh, as the bride of Christ to be willing to serve however the Lord leads us. Um, even if it's something we're not really excited or not stoked about doing, right? You guys all remember the prophet Jeremiah. Um, and what he said when the Lord called him to service. Uh, I'll read it to you. It's found in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6. Jeremiah tells us this. He says, Then I said, Ah, Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak, for I'm only a youth. <laughs> in other words, he said, You got the wrong guy for this job, Lord. Maybe you can call me to do something else. <laughs> or how about Moses? Um, we know Moses. In Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 through 17, uh, you can actually read all about Moses' uh, hesitation to obey God's call. But I want to just read to you Moses' response. Um, it's found in Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. And uh, it says this, then Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. <laughs> That's just two examples. But in both instances, God made it clear to these men that, well, he would be the one that gives them the words they needed to speak. He would be the one who enables them to do what he called them to do. But as you can see, they, they weren't exactly excited about it, right? And so sometimes, you know, the Lord calls us to serve in difficult things or things that we don't think we're capable of. Things, uh, you know, that we don't want to do a lot of times. And so it's important for the church to be willing to take that leap of faith when it calls to serving the Lord. A church full of saints willing to serve in whatever capacity they can will make for a stronger, healthier church, guys. The next thing about service is, well, the quality of service, okay? It's important to remember that oftentimes what seems like a small thing to us is, well, it's a huge thing to the Lord. For example, maybe you help clean the church on Saturdays. Well, that's one of those ministries that's kind of in the background, right? Maybe no one even knows you're a part of that ministry. And sometimes we can feel like maybe our service is kind of insignificant. I remember when I first got in the ministry, the very first thing that I ever did was I was put in charge of taking uh, our pastor's teachings and uh, editing them, putting the little Calvary Chapel logo in them and, and cutting them and, and you know, and I was in a room by myself, and no one knew that I did that, but I did that for three years. One may think, well, you know, all I really do is vacuum, or all I really do is take out garbage. But even though those things may seem small and insignificant to us sometimes, they're really huge. Again, could you imagine a church that no one emptied the garbage at? It would be one stinky church. Or a church that no one vacuumed? Exactly. 
Jesus said this about things we may consider small. <laughs> it's found in Luke's gospel, chapter 16, verse 10. Jesus said, He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust in least is unjust also in much. And so that verse shows us, even if it's little, it's still very important. And if we're unfaithful in the little things, Jesus said there's no way you'll be faithful in the big things. And so whatever it is the Lord has called us to do, whether it's something small or, or undesirable, <laughs> We must not only be willing to do it, but be willing to do it to the best of our ability. Because the truth is, when we serve, it's, well, it's service unto the Lord, right? Keep in mind, you're vacuuming that carpet for Jesus and his flock. You're emptying that garbage for Jesus and his flock. You know, you're watching that parking lot for Jesus and his flock, Okay. Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 through 24 says this, And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and, and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Guys, it's so important for us to remember that we serve the Lord in all that we do, and we do it heartily. We do it to the best of our ability because Jesus deserves our best. He gave us his best. No matter how insignificant uh, our serving may be to us. And so I want to leave you with just a few thoughts. And I pray that you take a moment to, to really consider these things and think about them. The first one is, well... Do you have the willingness to serve the Lord in whatever way he's called you to? Do you have a willingness to serve the Lord? Even if it's something that's undesirable. And next is, are you serving the Lord to the best of your ability? Are you giving God your best? Because that's what we want to do. Because just like discipleship is important, these two things are extremely important to help keep Jesus' church strong and healthy. It's not always fun. It's not always easy. But God didn't create us for fun and easy here in this world. <laughs> that part comes next when he says, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. That's when it's fun. That's when it's easy, guys. Hey, as always, I hope you enjoyed this morning's devotional. I'm looking forward to next time I'm with you guys and we all get to discuss the next thing that makes a strong and healthy church. Let's pray. And so, Father God, Lord, we come before you. And Lord, that is our prayer that, uh, Lord, we can uh, not only have that willingness to serve you, Lord, no matter what it is, Lord, but that we, uh, that we serve you with our whole heart, Lord, that we serve you. Uh, with the best that we can, Lord, that we give you our all, Lord, because we know that you gave us your all on the cross at Calvary, Lord. We know you deserve our best, Lord. And so, Father, I just want to lift up uh, anyone who uh, maybe you've been knocking on their heart, Lord, that you want them to get involved in this ministry or you want them to serve in this way, and maybe they've been hesitant, Lord, because Maybe they're scared and they don't think that, uh, that they're capable of doing that, Lord. Or, or maybe they just don't feel called to that, Lord. I just pray, Father, that you make it crystal clear, Lord, and that you give them the strength, the courage, Lord, to take that leap of faith, Lord, and to serve you with all their heart, Lord. Father, we love you. We thank you for these devotionals. We praise you, and it's in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, guys, as always, it's a pleasure doing these little devotionals with you. Again, looking forward to next time we're together, where we'll take a look at the next thing that makes a strong and healthy church. I'll see you guys later. Bye.